Hey, what's up, guys? Mike from the Oak Cliff Kickboxing Academy. We're going to be breaking down the action from Bellator 92. On the prelims, Brandon Halsey looked very impressive. Team punishment fighter with great wrestling, great ground and pound. He picks up the arm triangle victory in the third round. Aaron Miller picks up the decision against Shad Smith. Smith hunted for the knockout the whole time. And Miller, he mixed it up very well. Lots of leg kicks, takedowns, and a lot of submission attempts. Very impressive by Aaron Miller. In an entertaining heavyweight fight, Josh Apel, he fought at the last Bellator 91. And makes a quick turnaround. And he gets the decision over Manny Lara. Very entertaining fight. Uh, lots of great moments. And also some low moments as well. With the uh, knee to a down opponent. As well as some groin punches. But Josh Apel picks up the win. Keith Berry, Strike Force veteran, picks up a quick submission with the Kim Mora. Another fantastic fight on the prelims. Acosta Panyan stops Chris Saunders in the third round, spinning back kick. Hopefully, he makes it to the main card. A great stand up battle back and forth, uh, but mostly Acosta Panyan. First fight on the main card. Alexander Bezeja came out strong. He got the takedown. It took him a little while to get it uh, because uh, Richmond kept getting up. Eventually, he locked on a body triangle from the back, and he won that round. The next round, though, he couldn't take it down. Richmond opened up with his punching, and the third round was very, very close. Bezeja did get a takedown. However, he got reversed, and he just ate a, a lot of punches, and he got rocked a little bit. Split decision goes to Mike Richmond, advance, advancing to the finals. Middleweight tournament semifinal, Brett Cooper versus Dan Kramer. Kramer came out strong. Uh, he dropped him, uh, took the bag, and really controlled him for most of the first round. Also had his way with him in the second round. And in the third round, though, Brett Cooper, he hung tough. There was moments in the fights where it could have got stopped. But he kept battling, and he pulled off the very impressive comeback win. It was a pretty awesome moment. Make sure you check it out. In the other middleweight semifinal, Doug the Rhino Marshall fought Sultan Aliyev. Aliyev won the first round. He got the takedown, had the control. In the second round, Doug the Rhino Marshall landed a great head kick, stumbled him, and he could have got the finish. Unfortunately, he got taken down, and he wasn't able to stop the fight. Third round, it was a little bit controversial. Aliyev had the takedowns. He didn't throw very many punches, though. He didn't do any damage. The, the Rhino, he did. He threw many punches, and uh, he actually landed a very great punch in the last few seconds. And it was a split decision, and it went to Doug the Rhino Marshall. The main event was a wild fight, almost over as soon as it started due to a low blow. Marlon Sandro threw a knee, landed on the cup. Um, Frodo was given five minutes, he was able to continue, and then the action really picked up. There was uh, a little bit of everything, strikes, he caught him with the front kick to the face. Uh, he almost caught him in the arm bar. They were going for Alma Palatas, a little bit of everything, it was great action. If you missed it, make sure you catch it. Second round was pretty insane as well. And the third round, Sandro was clearly very tired. And he was taken down. Kept taking a lot of punishment. And referee Big John McCarthy stops it.